Hello and welcome to another Rotorycraft tutorial. In this video I will go through the extractor. It is a machine that is used to get more material out of ores and it will do so through several processing steps. Each step with different requirements on power, torque and speed. So let's place it over here and I will start from the beginning. I will first go through how to set things up, then I will go through the interface. Uh, I will go through the power requirements for each step. There are four steps. And I will end with uh, two examples of how you can do it. So in front of me I have an engine, it's a gasoline engine, and I have a 16 to 1 gearbox with some lubricant and the extractor needs to get its power from the bottom so I use bevel gears for that and I have hooked up water behind it. Okay let's go through the interface of the extractor. As you can see there are four steps to go through to get from ore to flakes. In the first step we will grind the ore to dust. In the second step we will mix it with water. This will give us slurry. In the third step the slurry will be pressed through a filter. This will form a liquid solution. And in the final step we burn the liquid solution to obtain ore flakes. These ore flakes can later be cooked in um, in a furnace, normal furnace, and that will give you the ingot that you want. In each step there is a 50% chance of double the outcome according to the information tab. So this is a very very good machine for if you want to have a good outcome of ingots from your ore. But it will take some time and it can take some really advanced machines to, to have a convenient setup. Okay, now let's go through the power requirements. In the right side of this, in the extractor interface, we have four bars for power, speed and torque. And when I turn the engine on it will be clear exactly what they mean. As you can see here we have 65 kilowatts at 512 radians per second. With the torque we up the 128 to 2 kilonewtons per meter. 2 kilonewton meters and with a really low speed. Now if we look in the interface we can see that we have enough power for every step. You can find all information in the information tab, all the power requirements for every step, the torques for step 1 and 4 and the speed requirements for stage 3, 2 and 3. In stage 1 and 4 there is no requirement on speed and in stage 2 and 3 there are no requirements on torque. But in stages 2 and 3 we need water and that's why I have hooked up the water behind it. Next thing to check is the speed. As we can see here we have enough speed for stage 1 and 4 and enough torque for all of them but we can only run the first step and then it will be stuck on the second step. We can grab a few ores and see how it looks. As we can see the pr stage 1 process is running but the dust outcome 
will end up in the second stage, but nothing will happen since we don't have enough speed. We can change the speed, of course, with the gearbox, and let's do that directly so I can show you how it looks. There we have um, the bonus outcome directly, but nothing happens here. So let's change the gearbox. Now we have very low torque, but very high speed. So now when we look in the interface, we have enough speed for stage two and three. The torque is also okay. But the stage, the last stage, has, it has enough speed, but not enough torque. So things will get stuck in a last step as it did before. Now if I change back we will get the last setup again. That means enough speed and torque for stage 1 and 4 but not for 2 and 3. So now we can see stage 1 and 4 running and they will do so simultaneously. So you could either have several lines set up or you can switch manually for example if you only need one type of ore in very low very small amount now we can see that we get the final ore flakes and these can be run in a furnace as said before then we'll get iron ingots. But changing, switching between speed and torque with the gearbox in a manual way, it's not very convenient if you have a large amount of ores or different types of ores. So what would it take to have this in a single line? Well, looking at the numbers, we need 65 kilowatts as a minimum but to match the highest torque requirement that's 512 newton meters and the highest speed requirement 8 kiloradians per second that ends up with 4 megawatts so of course we can't we need a lot <laughs> A lot of gasoline engines to get up to 4 megawatts of power. Luckily we can use something different. How about a micro turbine? These will output 2 megawatts each and combining them will give us the 4 megawatts we need. After that it's simply a matter of with the correct gearbox to give us the 4 megawatts, 512 newton meters, and 8,000 radians per second. So let's start this up. And while that heats up, we can have a few few of each types type of ore. I'll be right back when we have the appropriate power, speed and torque. Alright and now they are running at full speed. As you can see here we have 512 newton meters at 8000 radians per second so all our requirements for every stage are thereby fulfilled. So now we can just throw all our ores into a chest, feed them into the extractor and just let every step run. As you can see on the right side we have enough power, speed and torque for all stages so everything will just run automatically as long as we have that.
and finally we have our ore flakes so now it's just a matter of let them out like that now we have direct feed from top and direct output to the side so just take the flakes and cook them and this will give you ingots the same goes for all other types as well so I think that's it for the extractor I hope everything is clear and I thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!